Hello my sweeties and welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, my name is Celise and thank you for joining my spooky little family. In today's video, we are doing something a little bit different. I am going to be showing you my Jalo collection. Oh my god, I bet the boys on Reddit are so proud of me. I like learned how to say it. Eh. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay, so let's start with some cool shirts. I got this shirt on Etsy. It's super cute. I love it. I wish I could wear it every day. This is, I already said it's from Etsy. <laughs> If it has cat hair on it, that is because Lev is always laying on my things. It's fine. Bad bitches have cat hair on their clothes. That's the reality. Really love this shirt. There's another one that says you've been watching Deep Red and I really want that one as well. So this is actually probably my favorite shirt that I got. I got this on the Severin sale. Oh my God, can we take a moment? It is the strange vice of Mrs. Ward's shirt. Right there, we see Edwidge's eye. We love it, we love her. But wait, cause the back is the coolest part. Oh my God, you guys. Do you see it? Can we talk about George Hilton real quick? Because damn. Damn, daddy, damn. I wanna wear this shirt also every day. I already wore it. I'm just like obsessed with pairing it with skirts. It's my new thing. I'm obsessed with this shirt. Okay. I also got another one from Severin. And this is an all the colors of the dark shirt. This is actually one of my favorite Jolly. Look at how beautiful it is. I mean, Edwidge looks amazing. It's just, oh, it's so beautiful. I love it and I just really want more. I just need more shirts. I'm, I'm obsessed. My, my shirt collection is growing. And if we're talking about merch, let's talk about these bad boys. you know that I had to get a pair of black leather gloves like all of our stylish killers. These are actually the gloves that the tire iron killer in all my Jalo videos wears. Love them. Who is she? Who is she? Oh my God, wait. Wait, Bimbo Jalo Killer? Who is she? Come on with this pink robe with the fur, you know? Oh, I'm also wearing something that I really love. I have this Edwidge Fennec necklace that I did get on Etsy as well. It's super beautiful. And it comes with the matching earrings. Okay, so now I don't have too much Jalo Blu-rays, but the ones I do have are really cool, so I feel like you guys are gonna love them. I'm just gonna pop them out real quick. So first, we have this really gorgeous Aero Video release of Deep Red. I actually got this on eBay for like 16 bucks, and it's so beautiful. I'm actually gonna show you the inside of it because it comes with a lot of cool things. So it comes with this beautiful booklet and inside basically has all these pictures. I don't wanna like fuck it up. Oh my God. It would be so cute if I could just read you guys, like, a story like this. 
Like ASMR? Who is she? Basically, it has lots of pictures from the film. Um, I'm having a hard time holding it open for some reason. <laughs> this woman that oddly looks like Daria Nicolodi for some reason, but it's not her. Then it also comes with this amazing poster. It's two-sided, which is really cool. So this side we have like the OG poster. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. And then on this side we have this one, which is really fun too. Kind of a different look. Really love this one. This one actually really gives Hitchcock vibes. I think I prefer this one. But I don't know yet where to hang this. So pretty. And this is what our Blu-ray looks like. Inside, we have the original version. And the export version. <laughs> and then we have some more goodies here. Oh my gosh, I didn't know this came with so many. I love this movie so much. I actually recently went to go see Deep Red at the Lincoln Film Center um, and Dario Argento was actually there. I went there twice. He was here for the week. I went to see Tenebrae, which was amazing and he like introduced the film. It was a beautiful experience. If I can, I'll insert a little clip that I recorded on my phone right here. It's one of my favorite films, I think. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, I went to see Tenebrae. That was amazing. It was a completely different cut of the film that I had never seen before that I hear is actually going to be released in July. So that is really exciting. And for funsies, I went to go and see Deep Red for like the thousandth time. I definitely did not need to go and see Deep Red because I've seen it so many times, but it was a lot of fun to watch it on a big screen. Next is a collection that I was actually gifted by my patron Andy. Thank you so much for this. This is the Sergio Martino collection. I'm very excited. So far, I've said this in another video, I'm pretty sure that Sergio Martino is my favorite. There's just something about his films that really hit for me. And yes, it's possible that it's because most of his films star Edwidge and George Hilton. You know, I may be a little biased, but it's okay. In this collection, we have Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only I Have the Key. <laughs> I have yet. I feel like I just talked up Sergio Martino, but I have yet to actually get through this film. Um, I don't know what it is, but it is very slow. And, you know, Edwidge doesn't come in until like 30 minutes in. And, um, yeah, this is definitely not a film to watch if you're really sleepy, though. And I tried to watch this right before bed. Not a good idea. It was putting me right to sleep. But I am sure it's great. I've heard only great things. Next, we have one that I actually have not watched yet. This is The Suspicious Death of a Minor. I have not watched it and I have not heard a lot about it, but this cover is gorgeous. So I'm excited to check this one out. It looks like it's a lot of fun. Then we have one of my favorites actually, and that is The Case of the Scorpion's Tail, starring George Hilton. So I love this movie so much. I've seen it already. Wow, I just clipped that. I've seen it already three times. Each time, it gets better and better. I'm serious. George Hilton, he really did that. That final scene, he absolutely ate, okay? He ate. 
king. The one thing that's really cool about these Aero video releases is that they're two-sided. So I can just turn this over and have this beautiful poster or I can have this beautiful poster. So I love that. Now we have one of my favorites. We have The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward. My soundtrack is missing because it's in my computer because I listen to it all the time when I'm like cleaning or making coffee or something because I just naturally think I'm in a Jalo now. So yeah. This is what our Blu-ray looks like. Super pretty. Comes with this cute little picture. And next we have All the Colors of the Dark. Another one by Sergio Martino. Okay, now this one, my soundtrack is in here. So we have another one of these cute little pictures. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. I am just obsessed with all the artwork on these. So beautiful. Now I actually got a copy of this film at Monster Mania when I was there from the Vinegar Syndrome vendor. And I didn't know much about this film. <laughs> I was actually wearing my Dario Argento shirt and the guy from Vinegar Syndrome was like, hey, I think you'd really like this movie. And he just gave me Dario Argento's trauma and I couldn't pass it up because look at how beautiful this looks. I mean, it's gorgeous. So I was like, okay, I've never seen it. I'll get it. Now this one also has a double-sided moment. I actually really prefer this cover. So I actually did watch this film and um, it's not the best but I'm still happy I have it. It's a beautiful cover and I'm just really happy to have so much Jolly. Also at Monster Mania, I actually picked this up from a vendor. I have not watched it yet and I don't really know what it is. All I know is that this vendor specifically sells rips from VHS tapes and I saw this and I just couldn't pass it up, you know? I thought, this was really cool. I think it's some sort of documentary. I'm very excited to check it out when I do. Okay, so next we have some more from Arrow. We have one of my favorites, The Red Queen Kills Seven Times. Only seven times. <laughs> so this one also has the really cool two-sided I honestly love both of these covers. I really can't decide which one I like more. They're both so iconic. And can we talk about how gorgeous Barbara Boucher is? An absolute queen, a baddie. We love her. Queen. And of course, since I have the Red Queen, I was actually gifted this by a patron. I have The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave. This one is also a lot of fun. And I love, again, the poster. Two-sided, really pretty. I mean, look at her, she's a baddie. Jalo is just baddies. Okay, speaking of the Red Queen, this is something I actually found on eBay and I think it may be kind of hard to find and I had to get it. I had to get it. This is the Red Queen. It's a Red Queen figurine and I had never seen it before until this seller was selling it on eBay. I mean, look at it. I'm not gonna open it because I couldn't do that. <laughs> But inside, it has two DVDs. It has The Red Queen Kill Seven Times, and it has The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave. I don't know what the DVDs look like because I haven't opened it, but isn't she so pretty? I love her, and I just think she's so cool to have in the collection. 
She's a baddie. <laughs> you only come to the Sweet and Spooky channel to hear me say who is and who is... No, I always say who is a baddie. I never say who's not. So, I got this really cool Edwidge Fennec comic from Severin because they recently had a sale and it was $2.00. I can't really show it that well because titties are out, but um, look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? I mean, I love it. So I actually didn't really know what it was. It was $2. I thought it was just a photo of her, but it's actually, um, I don't know if I can show half of this. Um, because there's lots of nudity in it. Um, it's basically a Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward comic. Isn't it beautiful? It has all these beautiful images from the film. I'm actually really happy I got this. It's so cool. Ooh, we're getting spicy. There's lots of sex scenes in it as well because, I mean, it's a jolly. But this page seems pretty safe. <laughs> look at how beautiful! Oh my god, look at the beautiful picture right there of George Hilton and Edwidge Fennick. I mean, I love this picture. I actually have this saved on my phone because... Are you fucking kidding me? They both look amazing. Are you kidding? I love, I love this genre so much. <laughs> and we made it through. We made it to the end of this little Jalo haul. I actually have a few Jalo things around my apartment. I have a picture of Edwidge Fennec above my couch. I also have that gorgeous Case of the Bloody Iris poster I showed you guys during one of my videos. I ended up framing it and it is in my dining room. It looks super pretty there. And you know, I have a couple bottles of JMB just lying around because, duh, I think I'm in a Jalo all the time now. All right, you guys. So that is it for my Jalo collection thus far. If and when, I get more things, I will definitely do an updated video like this. Also, let me know in the comments if you would like to see just a general, like, DVD Blu-ray collection of all my horror films because I wouldn't mind showing you guys that if you're interested. And yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps me a lot. And be sure to click that little notification bell to be up to date every single time I upload. And let me know in the comments, what kind of video would you like to see next? Also, what was your favorite item in my collection? I'd love to talk about it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.